Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am with Chris Jupiter from Jupiter Effects. Not Hello. only do they make sick pedals, they also make really sick amps. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is uh, the current uh, line. That f it's a spot on Model T, and this is the new one. It has 200 watts. It's also Model T, but more watts and also more gain because it has a second channel. Perfect. That, that just adding uh, another tube, not like destroying the whole sound. It's like just boosting with a real tube. So you're adding a, basically another gain stage to the equation. But not before the the um, before the V1, the first tube. Yeah. So it's, um, after after that, so you can have the dynamics of the amplifier still. Perfect. It sounds amazing. He's also got what he considers a 35 watt amp, but it has two KT88s in it. <laughs> And I've got a amp with two KT88s in it, and it's a hundred watt. So I think thirty-five watt is just to make sure that people aren't scared of how fucking loud this thing is. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm also I'm making up a cab for this video. So I've got a uh, the prototype Lewitt uh, 1040 LCT, which is a tube and FET microphone. It's currently pre-production, but I wanted to see what it was going to sound like on a guitar cab. So um, Valerie from Lewitt was uh, awesome enough to set this up for us so we could do it for this video. Thank you very much. Um, it's an amazing mic. I'm only using the FET side of it. You can also have the tube side and you can run them independently or mix blend between both. But we'll talk about that in another video because this is all about Jupiter Effects. Yeah. So what are you going to play me? What am I going to be playing through right now? Uh, right now you play um, our the new Ohrmacht with the two channels, we will start with a clean tone. <laughs> like any old school amp, you just um, dial back the volume a bit, if you can do that for me. To okay. start with cleans. Here we go then. <laughs> It's a lovely clean sound. Man, you can't play. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Now I'm going to crank the volume up yeah. and see what happens. Can you do that in a, in a card? Like okay, uh, yeah. Let me do this then. That sounds absolutely amazing. So now we're going to try channel two. still has the dynamics. It's very distorted. Do me a favor and do the clean thing again. That is outrageous how well that cleans up. Yeah. It's amazing, very dynamic. It's because it's not just a booster in front, it's like a booster in the, the amp. Yeah, so it's adding basically another level yeah. Um, to the amp, but yeah. not as a boost in front where you can't clean where you just it up. overload the first stage. Yeah, so yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the, basically the stage is almost kind of similar to as if I was wanting to create power amp distortion, the fact that I need to turn it up louder yeah. to get more distortion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But amazing, sounds awesome. <laughs> I'm getting even more talented just sitting next to you. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> awesome. So you, now we've got a, a, a sort of big muff style pedal here, right? Yeah. Let's have a listen. Can you play like this card? It's like... Dun, 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 dun. Yes.
That sounds awesome. It's like, I've never been one for fuzz pedals, but recently I've been trying out quite a few and I'm starting to hear where this kind of sound can be useful for because it makes chords just sound absolutely enormous. Yeah, you have to dial in the the at the back because yes. it's not for like fast stuff. It's like the the power ones, like the the mosh things. It's almost like you want to hear the uh, fuzz sort of doing its end of the world implosion thing because that's kind of the beauty of it. Like Bloom, it yeah, I blooming. Guess, yeah, blooming. I guess is the right word for that. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Catastrophe, Sludge Fest Dominator. <laughs> Sludge Fest dominates. <laughs> Let's try it. from the craziest distortion sound ever to the cleanest of clean by just rolling back the volume knob and turning off what one pedal was it the sludge fest dominated that you just turned off there yeah. dude it sounds amazing that it can go from such big extremes so quickly that's because of the 200 watts it's like bringing the heaviest body bodybuilder in town to make your movement when you're moving houses it's like <laughs> yeah no problem you know it's like just <laughs> delivering wattage low end highs without any going into mud so are we going to give this little boy a try now so we've just swapped over the 200 watt omacht to the new 35 watt mini head which is at the top here and it's got two kt88s in it but maybe two <laughs> and is it really 35 watts yeah wow how? Wattage and volume doesn't, more wattage doesn't mean more volume. No. The speaker says how loud it will be. That's a good point. Yeah. I never thought about it like that. Wattage is how easy can it deliver your sound. Okay, so basically. Jamie would like 50 watts because he liked power tube distortion. Yes. This one doesn't. It okay. just delivers. And for that, you need more watts. Okay, that makes sense. So you get the headroom. Yeah. of the sound okay so nothing squishes with 4k t8 if you do manage to make 4k t8 e8 squish they don't ever basically in our normal guitar playing environment no yeah. what you hear is a your ears getting compressed <laughs> yeah and the speakers oh it's the speakers rather than the tubes whereas when it's like 6l6 is in 50 watt mode you start getting the power amp saturation we're building a 400 watts version soon. All right, let's have a listen to this then. It sounds lovely. It sounds the same because it's the same preamp, just less, less power. Less is sometimes more. Yeah. <laughs> Try with the sludge fest again.
The last chords. Yeah, give me that, but slower. Amazing. The best reviews are when the player don't stop. Just like, oof. It's just really, yeah. there's something going on with like feedback within the chords. I can't explain what it is. It kind of, it, it doesn't sound like flanger, but it kind of does something that with the, I don't know what it is. What is it? Is that, is that fucks? No, that's um, the, the octave up. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Can you do like a two band string but bend only one of those two? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. yeah. What amazing sound. Holy. Too much for you. It's amazing. Yeah. And the Jupiter effects amps are so musically pleasing to the ear. They they sound absolutely amazing. There is absolutely nothing horrible in the frequency range of these amps. It literally feels wonderful to play and sounds amazing. I'm really excited to hear what they sound like through this new Lewitt mic, which is obviously currently a prototype, which I have to say again. So don't try and buy it yet, but buy it when, how long is it gonna be? Like she, well, she doesn't know. <laughs> but it does sound amazing and I can't wait to hear what it sounds like through the mic because obviously that mic's going to be amazing because the mics make some absolutely great microphones which you they can do. hear in my other videos um, dude thank you for showing me this I love you man sure love you too <laughs> and yeah thank you for watching get a real tube amp yeah awesome well, go check out Jupiter Effects. You'll be able to find the link in the description below, as well as links to Lewitt mics, the main ones that I usually use. And I will obviously link to the 1040 once it gets released, because I'll more than likely be doing a video of it anyway. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the tone in the comments. And yeah, we'll be doing some more videos from 42 Gear Street, and you'll be seeing them on my channel very soon. Bye-bye. Peace.